Welcome back to Griddle Grub, everybody. Today we are going to be making a smash burger crunch wrap. We got all this good ingredients coming in here, so whew, this is going to be a good one. And I just want to say thanks for all the new subscribers I've been getting. I'm, I think I'm up to like uh, like 340 or something like that uh, at the time of filming, and yeah, I really appreciate all that. Smash that thumbs up for me; it really helps. And yeah, let's check out these ingredients. All right, so here's what we got. We have a half pound patty right here, sorry. This is a tostada, that's for the crunch. Uh, we got the half pound patty with serranos and onions mixed in there that we're gonna smash. Um, then we got tomato, lettuce, cheese. Then right here we got the homemade uh, creamy jalapeno sauce. That is delicious stuff. And then over here, we got these bad boys, these monster burrito shells. That's gonna be some good stuff. All right, we got a big storm coming in, so I'm trying to hurry up and get this done. We're at 3.55, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started because I'm not trying to be stuck in that. All right, so we got that going. We're about to smash this patty, this half pound patty. Oh yeah, the rain is here. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's come, starting to come down. All right, so we got that, boom. Grab some parchment paper. Let's give this thing a smash. All right. There we go. Nice little smash patty. Now, uh, I'm just gonna let this thing cook up a little bit and then, yeah, I'll bring it right back. Hopefully it don't get too crazy out here. Oh, baby, look at you. Ooh, this is looking good. All right, so this burger is just about done. I'm gonna throw this tortilla on. I got some oil right there. I'm gonna just put it on there for, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. I just wanna get it nice and pliable so I can fold it nice and easy. And we're gonna start building this thing. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and start building this thing. I, man, you guys gotta hear that. It is crazy out there right now. All right, so I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna put my my patty over on a uh, uh, a paper towel and oh he didn't know I was filming um, all right so we got the shell right here we're gonna go with lettuce that's a little too much right here oh, that's fine let's keep it right right in that area all right let's go with some tomato be all right now let's go ahead and throw this patty on that patty's looking mighty delicious right now let's go ahead actually I'll just plop it right down still hot still hot all right that's good now throw some cheese on I'm gonna be generous with my cheese because I love cheese. All right, here we go. Um, you know, I'm gonna put the creamy jalapeno sauce on at the end. So let's go ahead, actually I'm gonna, I turned all my burners off and I forgot. I need uh, this one on over here so I can cook it after I get it all folded up. Flip it right like so, and it's cooking. So then all I do is take it off, throw it on here, 
cut it up and we're golden. All right, I just tried some of that creamy jalapeno sauce and it is spicy. All right, let's give this a flip. Got a clean spatula now. There we go. That is what we want. Look at that. There we go, that's what you want right there. Now let's let the bottom cook up a little bit, get a little crust on that. Alright, you see what I'm looking at right now? This is looking perfect. This is very spicy. The wife did a good job on that. I'm going to put the, uh, uh, the ingredients and everything we did for that in the description below. But let's get to the matter at hand. Ooh, look at that. That's a little hard to cut through because the, uh, uh, the tostada at the bottom, I, it, I didn't let it get all soggy from the... Uh, the burger, I put the burger on a lint-free paper towel first just to get some of that grease out of there so it doesn't make everything all soggy. So let's, uh, let's dive in, get a bite. It's a hot one. Whoo! That is hot. First thing I got was the creaminess from that <clears throat> creamy jalapeno sauce and that cheese. Mmm, that tostada was nice and crunchy. Got a nice crunch on the outside from frying it up. Mmm, let's get another bite with some tomato in there. Mmm. Got a nice bite from that serrano in that one. Nice crunchiness to them veggies, the onions and serranos that were in there. That is dynamite. You guys gotta try this one. The last one I did, the, what was that? The quesadilla cheeseburger. That was, I'd say that one was not as good as this. This is way better. I, I love the tostada in there. This is definitely better to me. So I recommend you try it. Let me know if you do, definitely. Smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, thank all you guys that have been subscribing and watching. My last video did great because of you guys, so appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.